Hello, this is Bob Jorner, and in this video we're going to be talking about TC2000 and the latest version that came out in August of 2024. And we're going to focus on one key new feature, which is the news feature, which is something new. If you've seen my previous videos, I've talked about TC2000, the charts, the scans, talked about conditional colored candles that you can create using TC2000. So if you've missed any of those, feel free to go back, look at my channel, look at those videos. And if you're not currently a subscriber, to TC2000. Um, you'll find a link in the description box where you can go and get a free trial of the software, download it, try out the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video, and see if it's something that you like. Hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and dig into how to set up the uh, news tab on your TC2000 charts. You're going to start by going up here to New, the top left corner, and click the Layout tab. And the one that looks pretty good is this one right here, so we're just going to click that. And that divides our screen into three different panels, so we're going to do something different on each of those panels. The first one we're going to do is create a chart up here in the far left, just so we can see what our, what our stock is doing. So I'm just going to drop a simple chart inside there. Once that chart is in place, you can right click, edit chart properties, and you'll see that they've added a new what are called chart markers to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click the news and click all these that are listed here. So I don't know if you noticed or not, but as I did that, you see little chart markers appear on the screen. This is the daily chart of the SPY. So we're going to click OK. Then we're going to come down to News, and we're going to click Top News Stories. And you'll see that once you do that, everything is populated here inside this channel. Now, I'll go over the details of that in just a second. On the right big panel over here, we're going to click News again. And we're going to just going to click All News and Notes. And what this is going to do, it's going to say every time that um, there is some news related to the stock symbol that's on my chart, it's going to populate over here with those news. Now, a lot of information here. Let me go over some of the details. Once you get all that laid out, you'll see that beside each uh, separate news event, there's a little icon hover over. It says read the story. That'll pop out the news story. You can adjust the text based on the font size down here in the bottom left of that screen. You also have a couple little icons. You have Google News or for this stock symbol. That you, uh, Once you click that, it's going to open up Google News inside of a separate browser window on your computer. And at the same time, you can click Yahoo News uh, for that symbol, and that'll open up separately in your browser window as well. So easy access if you own a stock symbol that you want to know more about. You simply can read the news. It's already posted here, but you can also go to other sources, Google News and Yahoo, and read what those are. You can also click on this where it says Copy Text. And if you're trying to build up a document, Google Docs document, you can copy this text just by clicking Copy and then just right click and paste into the document. Over here are the, the top news stories. Um, related to the general market, about all news. So you'll see, for example, even though we're not looking at uh, Harley-Davidson here, there's news here about Harley-Davidson, which you can uh, click and read about and see what it says. Now these little things over here on the far left beneath the candles are chart markers. So for example, if I click on this one, which is, I hover over it and left click, that's from August 19th. If I click on that, then I have to scroll over here to the uh, August 19th to see the news story there, and then I can simply uh, open that up and see what the news story was for that day. I can also start uh, on the right side and say I want to go back to a specific date and uh, click the 9th, for example, and then when I did, as you can see the chart marker, highlights over here which candle that's related to. So once you've got all that set up, how are you going to use this thing? Well, it's obvious if you're doing swing trading, options trading, that you want to know as much as possible about the stock that you're looking at. But let's say you're day trading and you want to use a watch list. So for example, I'm going to go back to my Friday's watch list for uh, the bulls. August 23rd, which was that Friday. And then I'm going to do this, which is also something new. I'm going to add a column, which has been there before, of course. But a new column that we're looking at is called Most Watched Trending. So I can click on that, and it's going to rank all of the, uh, all of the stocks that are in that particular watch list based on uh, trending and based on how many people are looking at it. So you also see that I've got volume buzz already posted over here. So for example, I can click on the volume buzz and I can look at that compared to the trending. 
and I can see which stocks are pretty interesting and I see that uh, CAVA here New York Stock Exchange uh, volume buzz is quite strong and we have a 27 on that trending so if I wanted to look at that uh, that morning uh, for trading then I can simply click on that symbol I can see all the news related to um, at that particular stock so for example if I want to go up here and click about CAVA then I can find out about their earnings beat and that sort of thing I can also once that all that is in place and I've got that highlighted on my chart and I can see the the marker here uh, I can also go to my other charts go back to my charts that I'm going to be using uh, for trading that symbol so this is a five minute chart of CAVA on Friday and it shows the, the entry point around this area where I posted an alert for that in the morning stock trading chat room and you can see we had a big move up so it can alert you to uh, stocks that are being watched uh, it can alert you to you know stocks that are high volume and then you can just go to your charts of course and make your trades uh, but that's a real practical way for you to um, to use this now one thing I want to point out is we go back to the news feed you want to save that so in the bottom right this is listed as starter one so I just want to right click that and I'm going to save that layout as TC2000 news so I hope that's helpful for you what I like about it is everything's all grouped together it's just a click away to find out more information so if you're day trading swing trading doing options any of those things I think you'll find this uh, very helpful all right hope you enjoyed that video and uh, like I said in the description box that's below this video you should see a link to TC2000 I appreciate you using that link if you want to get the free trial uh, that link will also give you the best pricing discount pricing that's available with that free trial right now so go ahead and click the link try it out I think you'll enjoy TC2000 I know a lot of other people have uh, that have watched these videos so hope you enjoy good luck with your trading